Hello everyone. Welcome back to Mad About Designs. In this tutorial, I am going to be showing you how to design this simple slider mechanism using Autodesk Fusion 360. In this mechanism, I have used two limbs for transferring this rotary motion into this linear motion. This assembly is consisting of this slider, these two limbs, and the base. Here are the dimensions of the components and the tools and commands we are going to use in this tutorial. If you are new to this channel, do subscribe to us and turn on the bell notification so that you won't miss any of our new videos. If you guys have any suggestions and recommendations, please let me know in the comment section. Now without wasting time, let's get into it. First create a new design by going to files, select new design. The unit we're gonna use in this tutorial is centimeter. Create a new component and give it a name base. Keep it active and click OK. Create a new sketch on this front plane. Go to two point rectangle. Select the first corner as the origin and give it a dimension of 8 by 12 cm square. Draw another rectangle from this point with a dimension of 5 by 42 cm square. Finish sketch. Go to extrude. Select these two profiles. Direction symmetric and give it a distance of 3 cm. Click OK. Click on this face and create a new sketch on it. Go to two point rectangle, select the first point on this edge and give it a dimension of 1 by 2 cm square. Draw another two point rectangle from this corner with a dimension of 1 by 1 cm square. Repeat the same on the opposite side as follows. Uncheck the show dimension option to view our profile clearly. Finish sketch. Now go to extrude command. Select this profile. Extrude it up to 42 cm operation join click ok now turn on the visibility of previous sketch by going here go to extrude again select these two remaining profiles but here you can see we can't directly select our profiles so by keeping our cursor on the profile click and hold the left mouse button a pop-up menu will appear from here Select profile, it will automatically select the profile. Select this one too. Now we are going to select this face. So our profile will be extruded up to this face. Operation cut, click OK. Hide the previous sketch. Now go to fillet. Select all these edges. and fillet them up to a radius of 0.5 cm. Press enter. Now click on this face and create a new sketch on it. Go to center point circle and draw a circle here and give it a diameter of 1.5 cm. Under create, go to sketch dimension Select the center and this corner and give a horizontal distance of 6 cm. Repeat the same and give a vertical distance of 4 cm. Finish sketch. Go to extrude. Select this profile. Extrude it outward up to 1 cm. Operation join. Click OK. Here is our base ready. Now go back to our main assembly. 
create a new component and give it a name link1 keep it active and click ok create a new sketch on this face of our base under create go to project or you can directly press p to project selection filter specified entities and turn on projection link select this circle and click ok go to two point rectangle and change it to three point select the first point anywhere here second point here and third point here now under create go to sketch dimension and start assigning dimensions to this rectangle as follows select this edge and the center and give it a distance of 1.5 cm again select the center and this edge and give a distance of 1.5 cm select this edge and give it a width of 3 cm for this edge give a length of 16 cm now go to center point circle and draw a circle from here of diameter 1.5 cm press D to go to sketch dimension select the center and this edge and give a distance between them as 1.5 cm repeat the same for this edge finish sketch go to extrude command select these two profiles extrude it outward up to a distance of 1 cm operation new body click ok turn on the visibility of previous sketch by going here go to extrude command select this profile and give a extrude distance of 2 cm operation join click ok hide the previous sketch now under modify go to fillet select these edges and fillet them up to a radius of 1.5 cm here is our link one ready go back to our main assembly create a new component and give it a name link 2 press enter create a new sketch on this face of our link one press p to directly go to project command select this circle turn on projection link and click ok go to two point rectangle select the first point here and give it a dimension of 3 by 30 cm square press d to go to sketch dimension command select this edge and the center and assign a distance between them as 1.5 cm repeat the same for this edge finish sketch go to extrude command select all these profiles extrude it outward up to a distance of 1 cm click ok Now go to fillet command, select all these edges and fillet them up to a radius of 1.5 cm. Now we have to create a hole on this face. So under create, go to hole, here it is. Specify the diameter as 1.5 cm. Hole type simple, hole tape type simple, and drill point flat. Extend all so hole will be created throughout the whole body. And for the reference, select this arc 
so the hole will be placed at the center of this arc. Click OK. Here is our link to ready. Go back to our main assembly and it is the time for creating the slider. Create another component and give it a name slider. Keep it active and click OK. Select this face and create a new sketch on it. Press P to go to project. Select this face and click OK. Here the profile has been projected on our current sketch. Go to two point rectangle. Select the first point as the intersecting of these two point and give it a dimension of 5 by 4 cm square. You can see here the edge has been filleted but not here. We will fillet it later. Go to extrude command, select this profile, extrude it backward up to a distance of minus 8 cm, press enter. Go to fillet, select these three edges. For selecting this one, we may have to turn off the visibility of base 1. Fillet it up to a radius of 0.5 cm. Now create a new sketch on this face. Go to center dial circle. Select the center as the geometric midpoint of these two edges as follows and give it a diameter of 1.5 cm. Finish sketch. Go to extrude, select this profile, drag it outward up to 3 cm, operation join, click OK. Turn on the visibility of base and go back to our main assembly. Here all the components are ready but they are not joined together. Revert to the original position. Before assigning any joints, we need to ground this base. So right click on it and click on ground. So it won't move from its original position, whereas the other components can be easily moved. Here you can see. Now we need to fillet this edge. So go to fillet, click on this edge and fillet it up to 0.5 cm. Revert to the original position. Now under assembly, go to S build joint. For component 1, select this link and for component 2, select the base. Motion type, revolute and for the position, select this circular face. The link is rotated in right direction, so click OK. Right click and repeat as build joint, select these two links, motion, revolute and for the position select this circular face. The link is rotating in right order so click ok. Here you can see. Now go to joint, capture position, for component 1. Select the cylindrical face of our link and for component 2, select the circular face of our slider. Motion, Revolute and Rotate Axis Z. Animate the model, it is rotating in right order, so click OK. You can see our slider has been moved from its original position and that's ok. Move our history marker a single step in left direction. Now we're gonna provide the sliding mechanism between the slider and the base. So under assembly, click on S build joint for component 1 the slider and for component 2 the base. Motion type slider 
and for position select this axis it is sliding properly so click ok now move our history marker to the extreme right here it is our slider is ready to slide if we rotate our link one it is sliding properly go to joint turn off the visibility right click on revolve one and animate model our slider mechanism is working properly it's time to assign some colors revert to the original position press a to go to appearance i'm going to apply this paint metallic white yellow and black color on them here our slider mechanism is ready thank you guys for watching this video if you like this one hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel see you in the next tutorial till then keep designing and design whatever you love bye bye